It's a good question because, you know, sometimes I've had students asking me this question and I always say, you know, if I had to go back in time, I would love to learn, you know, a technique, learn about the history of the art, learn about the business. So, you know, when you leave, you're already trained and ready to, to, to go on, you know, as a journey. You know, somebody like myself and I know, you know, a few other artists are similar that came from that way. We sort of, well, I'm talking about myself. I had to learn as I went along, in a sense. And, you know, technically, I'm not the best photographer, but it's more I'm using photography as a medium to express my work, my, you know, what I'm trying to say with my work. So that's the difference. But I, as I say, if I, um, you know, had the chance or stuff like that, I would have loved to have gone uh, back and, and done this. At the same time, you know, you have some great uh, artists that have this background of, you know, coming back from colleges and, and doing stuff where they've really learned techniques and they could be ex incredibly um, uh, creative uh, with this. Um, and with somebody like, somebody like myself, I've really had to go for, you know, really use my basic way of work uh, and my honesty in the work in the sense of uh, not trying to be too clever, too technical and go outside, uh, you know, to, to a world that is not familiar with me. Um, but it's something that, um, you know, when I started showing the work, it was difficult because, you know, when you be in the group show and you're the only one that's not coming from that background, you could become a misfit in conversation, in names of, you know, uh, of artists, uh, historically, um, so you can feel that way, but, you know, as, as time went by, you feel comfortable and, and I use that for my strength, you know, that's what I came uh, through and I use that for my strength. I try not to hide that if it's, uh, you know, if it's, uh, if it's not the best, best picture, but if it can touch you, touch you, that's my main thing. And I always remember, for example, listening to, uh, you know, a demo tape of music or a, a reggae song in the 70s where it was you know done on the four track in somebody's house and when you listen to it it touches you so it wasn't about taking that song to you know a, a, you know a, a, a million a few million pounds worth of the studio and really clean it up and i always look at mediums like this you know film music uh, photography it's about um i suppose having that kind of something sensitive with it it touches your your spirit you know it's like if you see a film and it's I don't know, if it's a horror film, you get scared. If it's a happy film, you laugh. If it's, a, you know, um, um, sort of, uh, you know, within the same as music, something that can make you dance, something that can be sad. So if I can have something in my work that way, it can touch, his, touch a person in that kind of way, whatever way, negative or positive, it means at least you've done your job in the sense of, um, you know, um, creating a debate or a question.